Oh, you're a new seeker. Infected doctor. I don't think I've seen... Hey, somebody put their hands where they weren't supposed to. What in the world? Lady, you should have reported that. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Ravenhurst mod. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hit a bunch of POIs. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Um, the plan is that we basically hit the POIs, uh, the rest of the POIs in this town that we haven't done yet, and then also uh, just hit these over here in the town across the way, kind of, you know, essentially clear the place, if you will, and then uh, I'm strongly considering moving down to this much larger place that has a lot more POIs and gas pumps and whatnot for us. So that's kind of the plan over the next few episodes. And so, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, let's see. A couple comments. You guys mentioned to me a few times in the comments that I couldn't make the table saw because I hadn't actually crafted the table, uh, the, the cordage, but it doesn't matter. It's a moot point because I don't have the skill or the, the knowledge to make the table saw. So even though I have all the stuff to make it, I still can't make it because, see, it's locked. I also was told that I screwed up repairing the pitchfork, and I agree with that, and I think I even pointed that out in the video that I screwed it up, um, but the person that left that comment also gave me a good tip on how it should be done, and I'll share that with you. He basically said repair the 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 cheaper one first and then add that or combine that with the better one, and that's the way to do it. And I agree with that and appreciate the tip, and we'll try and do a better job of that next time. Okay, so yeah, it is uh, uh, almost um, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so we don't have a ton of time. Uh, so let's jump on our mini bike here. We have plenty of gas, so that's a good thing. And let's uh, finish it doing our POIs. Where in the hell are all the zombies at, by the way? Oh, there they are. I, I, why did I even say that? Good Lord. I just jinxed myself. <laughs> I was going, man, there's usually tons of Zekers around. And as soon as I said that, they appeared. Oh, I can't take me anywhere. Okay, well, um... I'd kind of like to avoid killing a hundred zombies just because it's going to take a long time. So is there, a, could we maybe get away from these guys? Uh, that doesn't always work so well because I think, you know, when you leave one area and go to a new one, it just spawns another whole group of them in. But I don't know. Let's just see. I, I don't mind killing 20 if I have to, but I want to kill a hundred because it just takes too long. We don't have a lot of daylight left. Okay, let's do this POI right here, if we if we can get away with it. Yeah, there's <clears throat> there are quite a few Zeeks around. All right, well, let's kill the ones that are coming for us right at the moment. So you dead. Another comment pointed out that one disadvantage to using the knife is it takes it a long time to level because I'm only actually using it twice to kill the zombies. And uh, I get that. Actually, that's a valid comment in terms of leveling the skill and why it's taken me such a long time to level a skill, even though I've been using the knife a lot. Um, I guess my the thing about that, and this is what I said in the comments, too, is that, uh, I, I again, I agree with that, but I still think the knife is one of the best early game tools, not to level with, but to survive with. <laughs> So, you know, we're going to continue using it, and maybe I will start using it more than I need to for the purpose of, you know, of of leveling it, because I can always, I can make the, you know, these knives now, the rusty knives, which are better than the bow knives, and each, t as I level up, each time I make a new one, it's going to be a better quality anyway. So, I think we will continue to use the knife with the pitchfork as a kind of a supplemental weapon, uh, but we'll start using it. Uh, a lot so we can start getting some points on it okay all right so let's see we we're gonna we're gonna hold our ground as best as we can here and try and get uh into this place oh you're a new seeker infected doctor i don't think i've seen hey somebody put their hands where they weren't supposed to what in the world lady you should have reported that maybe she did i don't know <laughs> what the hell man okay so she's dead. Yeah, so we'll we'll start using the, the knife um, repeatedly to, again, to level it. And uh, each time we do that, oh shit, stamina. Uh, we will run out of stamina and get hit in the process. Okay, she did. And we'll, we'll probably just let it wear completely out and then make another one because they're not that expensive to make and it'll be better quality each time. Okay. 
So, let's get Arlene Kilt here. Okay, she did. Now, um, we got Fatso over there, but he's not coming towards us at the moment. Um, we do have Yo over there. Let's see if we can pull him over here, because once we kind of get back towards the back end of the house, then he's going to be a problem. Okay, let's head on in here and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into because we're good at that. We are good at that. Still a couple Zeeks around, but let's just get started with this and we'll deal with them as uh, as we have to. Okay, so these doors are both locked. Cowboy Bob's in there. Let's go ahead and wake him up. There's two cowboy bobs in there. What is this? The cowboy? Oh shit, he's running. <laughs> is this the cowboy club or what? Oh, for Pete's sake, come on. Man, let's 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 try a different place. This is it's it's gonna take me the rest of the daylight to kill that many zombies. Oh boy, this is ridiculous. All right, let's try this house. You guys may notice I'm I'm getting a little what appear to be a little more careless and getting hit a little more. Um, but you know I can make bandages now. I have the resources to do it. So. It's not that I want to get hit because, you know, we can get infected, but here again, I've also got antibiotics. So I, I'm just trying to be a little more aggressive now uh, to move things along, level up, that sort of thing. All right, I've been in this house before. Um, there's going to be a Zeke right behind the thing here. Can we get over far enough to get a sneak? Oh, shit. Nope. No sneaky sneak shot. <laughs> All right, let's do some loot in here. See what we can get. Nice. Always take the the thingamadoodle there. Oh, we need to uh, adjust our graphics um, too. Let me pull up the command for that real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we got now we got good graphics. Okay, let's check the car here. I always forget to do that when I start this mod. Oh, man, we are running out of time, people. Yeah, I don't care about that. <clears throat> Maybe when we do our ultimate base, we'll we'll set up a whole bunch of those signs and decorate it and all that. But right now, that is not a priority for us. Check these shelves here. We got incoming. See, that's a that that's just a whole brand new group that the game just spawned on us. It makes it to where you can you almost cannot oh shit. You almost cannot even do anything until you kill the spawned in group. Oh god. <sighs> that's just it's such a pain in the ass. It really is. Good XP. But it makes it really hard to get anything done. I need a friggin' M60, man. And just mow them all down. We'll get there. We'll get there. We might even invest in a rocket launcher at some point. And we're just gonna blow the shit out of all these guys. When they show up.
Okay. Finally. Goodness gracious. Let's try this again. Get all these guys reloaded. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I think our oh, let's try that again. I think our mo is gonna have to be we're, we're just gonna have to kill him. I mean, what else can I do? Because if I run somewhere else, it's just gonna spawn in another group on me. So I I haven't. Hopefully those are just sleepers. I haven't seen any evidence that running you know outrunning them does any good because again they just get spawned in on you again. Okay, let's go in here. Probably a Zeke in the kitchen there. And looks like we have one there too. Alright, let's put our uh, barricades down. Well, shoot, maybe I should have put that down here. I just don't want, uh, there's going to be more zombies in the living room, so I don't want them coming after me, but they're going to anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's a moot point. Seem to be okay on that front. Okay, we got the attention of somebody outside. So we'll close that door. Okay, let's see if there's anything good in this medical cabinet. Alright, we'll take a bandage. Some more poop that we need. Oh nice, we got some fort bites. Okay, well, we might put those to use. Yeah, what that zombo outside appears to be uh, just kind of glitched. Everybody in here? Yeah. All right. Can we get a sneaky sneak off on this guy? Nope. Oh, shit. Wait. There we go. Trying to get a knife on uh, Ronnie McD too. Make sure that Zombo outside's not coming. Don't break my uh, my barrier. I need that thing. Okay. So the front room should be clear. Wait, what? There's someone in here, too? Oh, there sure is. What do you know? All right, here, let's close that door. What? We're going to keep, keep, keep that there and just let that zombie work on that door for a while while we do some looting in here. There's going to be a Zeke around that corner, too, if I remember right. Okay, let's loot in the kitchen here. Something just occurred to me. We could actually stay out after dark now that we have the mini bike. I mean, it's going to be risky, but is isn't anything I haven't done before, right? As long as there's not like 20 zombies around trying to chase us, I can deal with one or two zombies at nightmare speed, but not 20. So that, that actually could be right, really useful for us uh, moving forward here now that I think about it. And we are also getting quite encumbered, so we're going to have to drop some stuff off at the mini bike. Nice duct tape. Love it. Here, we better check and see how far along this. Okay, so she's actually working on the wall. 
Well, the wall and the door. Okay. Let's get these upper cupboards. Okay, so I think we've fully looted the kitchen. She's she's working on the block now. Uh, okay. Let's let her continue doing her thing. And I'm going to offload onto the minibike. Oh, I still, I guess I have stuff in here already. Pickled fish. Nice. I heard you, Darlene. You know what? I'm kind of encumbered. Let me offload before I kill you, please. Just just be cool, man. Just be cool. Okay, so uh, we want to keep that. Look at all the food we got. Uh, we don't need that. We can make, well, you know what? I'm assuming we can make that easily because we can vanilla, but that might not be the case in Ravenhurst. So let's, um, let's put that in there, too. We don't want that. We'll keep this stuff. All right, Darlene, come here. Let's get this done. Okay, she did. Okay, back into here. We'll keep the feathers, the jars. Yeah, we, we can be a little bit more um, liberal, I guess is the word, with what we keep now because we have more storage and we can run it back to the house later. Uh, anyway, so yeah. We're good to go on that stuff. But let's put this in here, and we'll put the paintbrush in there. Actually, let me look at that really quick. Can I just make a paintbrush like normal? It requires leather and wood. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. I mean, it's going to be a long, long time before we're even going to consider painting anything anyways. So let's get rid of that, and we'll put the bowls in there, because I know we're going to need those for some, some soups. Okay, let's continue on. There's a nice... If this is the house that I think it is, there's a nice, uh, big old fat, uh, uh, you know, bit of loot at the top. And I hope I remember to put my luckies on before we loot it. Okay, let's head on in here. I did check that up there, right? Okay, so is there still a Zeke in here? They might have, they might have despawned since we left the house. Okay. Well, here, let's just go in here then. Yep, no Zeke in here. All right, let's check the cabinet. We're not going to actually keep that. Bookcase. Come on, give us something good. Like a table saw schematic. Come on, game. Sounds like fatso's out there. <laughs> uh, I think I have some lockpicks back at the base. And you know what? Our knife is just about busted anyway. So I think we're going to go back to the base, make a new knife, drop stuff off, and then come back here and continue looting. There, That's nothing. Okay, and we'll, we'll hit that safe uh, on the way back. I guess... Um, here, let's just search this too. You guys were telling me that I might need these things for, like, quests later on, so I'm going to start keeping them. We should take these apart get the nails and the wood from them. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to go back to the base, guys. Drop stuff off. Remake my blade. And then we're going to attempt... We're going to attempt uh, working this POI at nighttime. And just see how we do. Okay, so we've got ourselves a scrap knife that's 192, so it's a little bit better quality than this one. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to hang on to this other one. Uh, we'll just put it in here. And then what we'll do is, you know, when this one gets down, we'll repair this. It takes duct tape to repair these. Uh, and then we'll combine them. Uh, well, I don't know.
know if I will do that because each time we make this, it's it, the quality is going to be a little bit better. Each time we repair it, the quality is going to be a little bit worse. So I don't. I might not actually do that at all. Um, now that I think about it. So what if we scrap this? What do we get from it? Uh, scrap iron. Yeah, that gives us um about 40 40 percent of the materials back uh, for it which we can just use to make another one later okay so yeah this is going to be interesting um we're going to try and go out at night for the very first time ever in uh ravenhurst and see if we can survive and continue looting uh that house so uh oh let's uh make sure we have a full stack of bandages that would probably be a good idea right and um, I'm going to also take some honey with me just in case we get, you know, thumped and uh, get some, uh, you know, get infected. And let's see, we should probably take some pain pills in case we get a concussion. And the bandages will take care of any lacerations that we might get. Uh, we need vitamins for something, too. I can't remember. Um, a fatigue. Yeah, if we get fatigued. So we better take that stuff with us, too. We don't have a lot of storage space, but we do have the mini bike, so that's working in our favor. Okay, let's get on here. Woohoo! Man, you really can't see very much, uh, see very well out at nighttime, can you? Oh, you know what? We don't want to be going in here. We're going to get trapped. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was too busy trying to figure out. Oh, there's a white. Uh, figure out trying to get my. Uh, my light going and drove into a trap there ah! okay now we got to find this place I can't see a damn thing excuse me Ronnie I know it was kind of off over this way somewhere okay this was the first house we tried to get into yeah so we're on the right road here we just got to go down further uh oh uh, oh, okay. We had a lock up there. That house is all creepy looking with smoke and stuff coming out of it. Okay, this is our house. Um, but what we're going to have to do is deal with these Zeeks. So we got a running Ronnie. Okay, let's just park at the end of the road here. So we're really, really going to have to manage our stamina now with this uh, with this situation. We have to be super careful. Just do little sprint spurts so we always uh, have a good amount of stamina on our bar. Okay, so we killed him. Oh, we got two sp points there's something off off that way too uh, all right let's go i want to get the bike a little closer to the house but there was another zeke yeah there's a zeke right there i think that's a a marlene because i mean if if things get too hot and heavy for us we you know we need to get on the bike and get the hell out of dodge so okay there's two zombs over that way uh three zombs shit okay we need to try and get into the house. One of those is a white. Two. I, if, didn't we fight a couple of those really early on when that spaceship thing dropped a bunch of whites and then we found that they weren't that tough? Yes, he's, he's only he's only 225 hit points. He's not that tough. It's called a Nightwalker, not a white. Okay, come here, Nightwalker. Oh, wait, no, that said... I saw something that said 1,200 pounds. Yeah. He is fast. I'll give him that. You dead. Okay. So now we've got uh, just a, a yo zombie here. Pull him over here and take out, take, take care of him. We got someone walking over there. It's making me a little nervous having somebody behind our back like that. Okay, you're dead.
Okay, so we got them out of the way. Um, let's deal with this one next, I guess. Quit moving. Yeah, that's just businessman. Not too worried about him. He is fast, though. Okay, we got... We got, uh... Oh, shit, she's fast. Okay, I think I think it's time to, uh... Hop on the bike. Let's go around this way. Look at all those guys. See if we can kind of pull them out into the woods a bit, and then we'll circle around this way. Okay, so we kind of drew them off. Hopefully they'll stay away. Uh... Let's deal... Well, should, let's just get into the house, actually. Yeah, let's just get in the house. What is this, an arrow? Got something over that way. Hopefully we don't have repops. Let's close that door. All right, I'm going to keep one torch here. Wait. Here. By the doorway. So we can, you know, see what's going on. Wait. Did we not loot something? Yeah, we didn't loot this cupboard. I'll take some pears. All right, I'm expecting a Zom to pop out of there so let's set that down so we, our hands are free and we might have to do a little better oh sh oh man you're fast holy crap that guy just flew out of there oh okay we, let's let's do skater punk ring around the rosie oh shit maybe we're gonna have to just jump over the rosie ah where are you Holy shit, okay. <laughs> okay. Calm down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That janitor just startled me, man. I was not... <laughs> I couldn't believe how fast he was moving. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. As long as uh, we don't get like 10 from the outside trying to break through the almost broken door there, uh, we got this. Oh man, okay. I just, I, I wasn't, uh, wasn't expecting him to be so fast. Oh, jeez, he was fast. I would have to go back and watch the, the footage of that again. Okay, I think we got the ground floor clear in here. So, let's deal with these yahoos. Keep my stamina going here. Whew, okay. Nice. We got a. We've got a uh, thingamadoodle. Hey, wait, wait! How'd you get in here? Right when we picked up the freaking light, too. Ah, she's right on me. Okay, here, 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 here. Damn. Where did? Did they make it through? How did you get in here? She came from this direction. Did she want... Could they jump through that window? I don't know. Okay, here, let's... <laughs> let's rip this off. If we can just get to a point where we can get rid of the outside zombies... I, I don't really want to barricade this because if we have to make a quick escape, you know what I mean? Uh, we need to keep that open. I'm guessing she must have jumped through that window because I don't know how else she would have gotten in here. That door's not broken, so... Oh, man. Okay. Let's, um... 
Let's harvest these chairs for the wooden nails and to get them out of our way so when we play Ring Around the Rosies, you know. Ah, okay. Now, we don't need to we don't need to pick up the trash things there because there's no more is almost down here unless they come in from the outside. Okay, come on. Give us something good. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's put these on. Okay. Give us something good. We need a table saw schematic. Uh, I don't want that. Damn it. Okay, let's try this one. Sounds like the outside Zeeks have calmed down, so. Very nice. And what is this one? Uh, more lead and brass from sinks, okay? That's never a, never a bad one to have. We got something in here. A purse. With some moolah. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the leather off these couches. Why not? We're going to need it. It's easy leather. I need to keep an eye on my green stone axe because it's getting getting down there, but I want to... I want to use as much of it as I can, because when we repair it, we're going to, you know, lose the durability some. All right, now, uh, you know, shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't grab my lockpicks for that safe, so we're obviously not going to get to that tonight now, so. Okay, let's rip this off and then replace it so that it's whole again. These barricades are really useful, but they're not very, you know, they're not very tough is a thing. Okay, so that way if someone comes in through there again. All right, let's get this reloaded because it's come in handy a couple of times now <laughs> tonight. <laughs> like big time. Whew. Okay. Here we go, guys. Upstairs. We got this, man. What could possibly go wrong, right? Nothing's going to go wrong. We're going to be just fine. Absolutely just fine. Let's, um, uh, where is my, oh, where's my axe? Oh, here it is. I was going to say. Okay, so this hallway is momentarily secured. I don't know if there would be something up on those rafters over there or not. Let's get rid of the trash first. These doors are... are very well reinforced this one not so much so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put one of those down there and let's check this room first oh shit <laughs> where are you He's moving around so much I can't hardly do anything with him. Okay, we got a broken leg. Did I bring a splint? Or no, it's actually not a break. It's just a sprain. Oh, I thought this room was clear, but no, of course it wasn't. Why would I think something like that? Damn. <laughs> you guys, this is so intense. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, so let's see, we, our health cap is down now because we have a critical and uh, I don't have a splint with me. I seriously doubt I can make something like that, uh, right now. I have splints, but I just don't have them with me. I should have grabbed one of those too. I mean, we grabbed vitamins and painkillers and I forgot to grab a splint. So yay, yay me. Oh, uh, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in big trouble. I think we're in big, big, big trouble. Oh, shit. <laughs> it took him, what, one hit to break my barricade? <sighs> I, 
hope you guys are enjoying my giblets. Tasty old guy giblets. <laughs>